What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Outdoor Outpost. With hunting season coming up, I thought it would be a great time to start going over the gear. And I want to start off with everyone's favorite part of the gear, the rifle. So stay tuned and roll that intro. Alright guys, so this is the rifle I'm going to be using this year for elk. It is a Remington 700 varmint. It's a 26 inch barrel, non-folded non barrel, Harris bipod. It has a Vortex Viper HST on it, um, zero, correction, six to 24 powered. You have your um, eye adjustment or your dry relief here, elevation knob, windage knob, and parallax. Parallax goes from 50 meters or 50 yards all the way up to infinity, stopping up 500 yards. Um, I'll have on the sunshade, which I personally like. Um, it helps for what I use it for. It's personal preference, guys. You don't have to have it. I like it. It makes a big difference to me uh, that I've noticed. All right, being a 308 is short action. The trigger was sitting at six. The vomit um, allows you to adjust it. I forget exactly what the engineers call this type of this specific trigger um, but I have it set down to a little bit under the three pounds so it makes it substantially easier and if you guys are wondering why I do that um, the heavier the trigger is the more you have to pull on it to drop the hammer so the more you have to pull the more chance you have of slightly moving your rifle okay whenever it's sitting in the bucket so I try to take all the variables out, out of it um, it's safe um, I mean, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. Um, I do. It's, you know, I have no issues with um, this going off, misfiring, or, I mean, um, going off, I mean, on the trigger. There's a couple of tests you can do to it if you go to adjust your trigger. I'll go into that in a whole other video if you guys want to see it. All right, guys, and last but not least is my dope sheet right here. So I cover everything from barometric pressure, distance, altitude, temperature, wind, and lead. So basically what this does is it will tell me what my adjustments are on my scope, um, my turrets to be exact, based on temperature that I'm currently hunting at. So if it's first thing in the morning where I'm going to hunt and I'm hunting at 9,000 feet, uh, the barometric pressure is 30.08. I already have that dialed into my dope sheet. If it's 30 degrees and the target is Let's say 450 yards. Right, guys. I know I can look right. Let's say 450 yards at 30 degrees. I need to adjust um, 8.6. So I need to take this guy and adjust it 8.6 MOA and bar off, bar round done. Um, this is it's something that I learned in the army. And sorry about that. My dog is being very noisy. What's up, Echo? Uh, but yeah, so I, I learned this in, in the army, and it is amazing. I also have windage on there based on based on temperatures, and my leads based on speed of the target. So it just takes all the guesswork out of it, guys. You do it ahead of time, especially if you know where you're going to be operating at. Um, you know what your mission parameters are, area of operations are. If you already know all, all of this information, do it. Um, if you don't, then you can do a generalization, but I can go into all, all of that. I can make 10 videos over this by itself. It's pretty in-depth. But yeah, guys, that is about it. I absolutely love this rifle and the scope. This whole a whole combo here, guys, does exactly what I need it to do. I would definitely I recommend it to anyone. Um, oh, yeah, something I forgot to cover. This does ha have zero stops on it, so whenever I'm adjusting it, I crank it down. It will stop um, at around zero. It's not exact, guys. So um, if you're just cranking down on it, it's going to stop at close to zero. Then you just adjust it back, uh, back to zero because mine actually stops at uh, nine. So I just know if it stops, I need to bump it back to zero and I'm back to zero. So done there. All right, guys. So yeah, that about covers it. I mean, if you guys want to know more and more in depth, um, Review on all of this and let me know. I'm going to take out to the range and verify zero. Um, I'll bring you guys along, let you know how I, how I do that, how I um, zero, verify zero, 
how I um, break in the barrel. Basically, the process from A to B to C to Z um, on how to make sure that I'm ready to go. That way, when I get out to the woods, uh, I'm nothing. I found my target, lays it, and I'm ready to put rounds downrange without too much adjustments, guys. Um, try to make your job as easy as possible whenever you're going out. That's what you got to do. And that's what this entire setup is based around is taking all the guesswork out. Uh, I don't have to get out there and, you know, start verifying, oh, well, the, you know, I know the wind is up there, so let me pull out my calculator, start doing math. That's, um, you know, shouldn't have to do that too much. Um, I mean, there's going to be variables that you need to take into account, but for the most part, this makes it very simple to lay down, go around, and be on target. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you I hope you liked it. Um, this isn't a crazy in-depth video, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview. I'm going to be doing a video for everything that I'm taking. I like this. My binos, my rangefinder. Um, basically everything that I'm going to be taking. Um, that way you guys know exactly what I'm taking out there. That way when we get out there and we're filming, you guys know exactly what I use. Um, and I, I'll let you know once I'm out there and if something doesn't work and I'm, I hate it, I'll tell you guys. Um, that way you, you guys don't mess up and buy something that I bought and I hated. Um, but so far I haven't had that happen yet. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to sub. Hit that bell icon so that you guys get notified whenever a new video goes out. And yeah, um, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, let me know what gear you take out. What, what rifle you like to hunt for when it comes to elk, I mean, mule deer, whitetail. Um, I'm always hunting guys, and so I definitely want to know what you guys use. All right, well, I hope you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.